so uh, good morning to all so now we are going to see about the today's experiment that is the effect of drugs on the rabbit eye now different drugs are acting on the eye so we are going to see what is their effect uh, on eye and this experiment we are going to do with the uh, software experiment because you know that as per the guideline we cannot perform with the animals so all the experiments in your semester we are going to do with the software please so let's see now coming to the introduction now as you know that the ids of the our eye it is composed of the two muscle now one is the radial muscle now in case of the radial muscle it is innervated by the alpha adrenergic receptor and noradrenaline it is act as a neurotransmitter in the radial muscle and whenever the agonist it will bind to the alpha 1 it will cause the contraction of the radial muscle similarly in case of the circulatory muscle the acetylcholine act as a neurotransmitter and muscarinic receptor it is a receptor which is uh, present in the circulatory muscle similarly whenever the agonist it will bind to the muscarinic receptor it will produce the contraction so this two type of the muscle is there and along with this uh, you can say that uh, acetylcholine here you can find that ciliary ganglionic and it is also you can say that important to send the signal in the CN. Now it is if you see about this, this type of the fourth type of the response we are going to observe whenever we are going to perform the experiment. Now in this case whatever what we can see that in first case is midriasis. Midriasis means dilation of the pupil. Let dilation of the pupil. Now what we are going to see that here contraction of the dilatory or the radial muscle. Clear? Or dilatory pupil. Here if it is the contraction why? There is the alpha adrenergic agonist. So it will produce the contraction of the dilatory pupil and it will cause the uh, contraction. So the pupil size it will be increased. So that is you can say that uh, dilation. Here in case of the sphincter uh, pupil or the circulatory muscle if there is a relaxation of the circulatory muscle then also we can observe this uh, midriasis effect and what type of drug like anti-muscarinic drug ganglionic blockers whenever we are giving this type of the drug you will produce the relaxation of this sphincter papillae and it will cause the di dilation that means midriasis what is in case of the meiosis meiosis we can find that uh, Muscarinic agonist whenever we are giving here the antagonist so it is producing midriasis so whenever we are giving the agonist what we can find that these muscles it will produce the contraction clear circulatory muscle it will produce the contraction and due to the contraction of the circulatory muscle pupil size it will be reduced so that we can find that it is the muscarinic and uh, agonist but here the antagonist it will produce the relaxation alpha antagonist so it will produce the meiosis but here mainly we are going to see these three type of the drug adrenergic agonist muscarinic blocker and muscarinic agonist and what is cycloplasia now in case of the cycloplasia like atropine type of the drug which is an anti muscarinic what will happen they will, whenever we are uh, giving this drug they will send, uh, stop the this particular signal let this uh, signal because it is the anti muscarinic drug so that the impulse it will not transport it to this uh, nerve as a result generally what happens if if we are putting the torch in the eye of the uh, eye you can find that people is reducing but in the cycloplasia in that case if you put the torch into the people also the size of the people it will not reduce that is the cycloplasia and loss of sensation if we are say just uh, in case of the eyelid if we are putting with the cotton and all what will eyelid it will be closed this is the normal phenomena now if we are giving the local anesthetic so outer side there will be no sensation so whenever if we are giving the local anesthetic also we can observe the loss of sensation so this observation we can find whenever we are giving the different drugs on the rabbit eye so in the next part we are going to see about the how the drug is acting and how you need to do the experiment.